everybody. This is Ms. Palermo's recording of Two Were Left. On the third night of hunger, Noni thought of the dog. Nothing else lived on the ice island. In the breakup of the iceberg, Noni lost everything. He had only Nimuk, his devoted, loyal husky. And now the two were alone. They were stranded on the ice. They eyed each other. Noni's love for Nimuk was very real, but Noni knew that the men of his village killed their dogs. They did it when, they were, when there was no food. They did not think twice about it. And he knew that Nimuk was hungry too. One of us will soon be eating the other, Noni thought. So, he could not kill the dog with his bare hands. Nemuk was powerful. A weapon like a knife was needed. Removing his mittens, he unstrapped the brace from his leg. He had hurt his leg a few weeks ago. He had made the brace from pieces of leather and iron. He put one of the pieces into a crack in the ice. Then he began to rub the other against it. Nemuk watched him. He worked all night. At dawn, his task was complete. Noni pulled the finished knife from the ice. He touched its edge. The sun reflected from it. Here, Nemuk, he said softly. The dog watched him suspiciously. Come here, Noni called. Nemo came closer. Noni saw fear in the animal's eyes. Weakened by hunger, the dog dragged his body forward. Noni's heart wept. Now, now was the time to strike. A terrible feeling came over Noni and he started to cry. He could not hurt Nemuk. He cursed the knife and threw it far from him. He fell. Now the dog growled. He circled the boy's body. Noni was sick with fear. Without the knife, he was defenseless. He was too weak to go get it now. And Nemuk was hungry. The dog circled him. Noni heard his breathing from behind and knew Nemuk was getting close. He prayed for the attack to be fast. He felt the dog's breath against his neck. He knew this was the end. Then he felt the dog's hot tongue. Nemuk was licking his face. Noni's eyes opened. He did not believe it. He pulled the dog into his arms. Then he began to cry. The plane, the plane came out of the south. The pilot looked down. He saw something flashing. He turned his plane. He saw a shape. It looked human. Or were there two shapes? He set his plane down and went to them. They were a boy and a dog. The boy was unconscious, but he was alive. The dog whined. He was too weak to move. A short distance away, there was a shiny object. It was what caught the pilot's attention. It was a knife stuck in the ice. It moved gently in the wind. So after listening to that recording, everybody, you're going to complete the one sentence summary for each section. And after that, you are going to do your own recording, which I will show you in another video.